I'm not saying that the Wembley show is going to be nothing but angles for another show. That's not what I'm saying at all. But you absolutely should shoot some angles or end angle for something at the upcoming pay-per-view. But, you know, the other thing that they could attempt to do is that they do have quite the roster. And, you know, one of the things that we've seen is, oh, my God, you know, we've got this pay-per-view coming up. There's 14 matches scheduled for this pay-per-view, and uh, that's a lot of matches. You could do things largely the way that WWE did leading up to this year's WrestleMania. WrestleMania was two nights, and there were no repeat matches, and there really wasn't an angle on the first night that led to the second night. What you had was a bunch of angles to create X number of matches for two different pay-per-views. And they could spend several months doing that, where you actually have a huge card announced for the first night. You have a huge card announced for the second night. But, you know, you you may not see people on both shows, which actually, if you look at the situation with CM Punk and the Elite and, and you know, people in one camp versus the other camp, I mean, you may have a CM Punk-centric show, and you may have an Elite-centric show, and different rosters on each of those two shows. So I think that, obviously, you know, some people that go to one show are going to be upset they don't see certain people. Some people that go to another show are going to be upset they don't see other people. But that may be what you're getting here with two shows back-to-back. Yeah, not not sure, and it's going to be a test of Tony Khan and Christopher Daniels, the, I, I don't know, you know, Dustin Rhodes, whoever it is that is helping him, you know, put these events together. Going to be interesting to see what their creativity is. You know, if this was New Japan, we wouldn't get an announcement for All Out until after All In was over with, no matter how important of a TV show it was. But obviously, you can't do that here in the States, and you don't want to do that if you're AEW. So it will be interesting to see as things move along, as we get closer to it, how they do decide to play things. You know, Do you have things that are stacked and layered, that you're blowing things off at Wembley in some cases, having some one-on-one -on -one matches, and then also continuing on with some things that would lead right into All Out? You know, that would probably be the way to do it because I'm, I'm sure we're going to have a couple of one-off matches, you know, kind of like Forbidden Door on that Wembley show. I would be surprised if we didn't because you probably are going to want to bring in somebody from the outside that will be notable or will be worth it, you know, for the AEW, for the London market and for the, the European market, too, because people are going to be traveling to this show. This is their first big show over there. So there are going to be people traveling from, you know, all over the continent. So I could I could see us having some one off matches there as well, too. So it'll, it'll be interesting. The main event. I was so disgusted. Why does a guy like that that's been a champ for so long have to have three guys come in and help him? Disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is so disgusting. There was a lot of great matches. There were the first day. The second day was back to this same old crap. Her favorite was Gunther versus Drew versus Sheamus. Oh, Inter I hate Gunther. You hate Gunther? Really? Hate Why do you hate about him? Just doesn't look right to me. <laughs> it doesn't look right to you. Okay. All right. His favorite was the first 34 minutes of Cody Roman. His least favorite was the final three seconds of Cody Rowan. Granny, do you agree with any of these uh, opinions here? What was that? I think she fell asleep. Yeah. Bailey was on Wheel of Fortune mm -hmm. and by E. By okay. E? It said by E. Big E. I Big guess. E. Okay. Big E. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> For your birthday this year, I'm not going to get you something decent. You're going to get nothing. Granny. Wow. <laughs> Comic book villain, I keep saying this. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.